and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you another way to model the canopy on this ME262 from the previous way I showed you. It's up to you which way you want to uh, uh, do it, which one looks best to you. Also I'm going to show you how to model this wing and the uh, wing tip and also this engine itself. There's going to be one more video of this, just a uh, another short video. I'm going to do some more uh, modeling on this engine nacelle here to make it look a little better and um, also then I'm going to show you how to do the um, canopy up here to get the lines in here and stuff like that to make this look like um, or make this clear so you can see through it and everything and that's going to just be a short little video probably about 10, um, 10 to 15 minutes okay so um, once again if you're new to the channel here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you like my videos go ahead and hit that like button also uh, comment down in below and it really helps the channel grow also I invite you to join my patreon site there you will have a um, um, personal assistant and helping you model your um, your airplanes in, in uh, Fusion 360 you can ask questions and anything you want to do there and any uh, model uh, airplane that I model there, you'll have access to the files there as well. So anyway, um, go ahead and check it out for now and uh, uh, be, become a member. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this ME262. Now I'm going to show you a way of modeling this canopy a different way. So um, let's go ahead and get started with that. Let's turn the canvases off so I can see what we have here. So we have this canopy here. I'm going to come over here to the bodies and turn this off. And I'm going to change this just to canopy one. All right. Now, what I'm going to do next is. I want to edit this fuselage here, so I'll come back down here where I started it, left click, right click, and edit. Turn canvases back on so I can see it. Okay. So this line here. Right click, edit form. And I'm going to rotate this, pull this up. Okay, that's what we have. This here, I want this to be a straight line, so I'll just go over that and just rotate that. You can't keep all your lines straight. Bring this down. And I'm going to need to insert an edge right here. So, double click that, come up here to modify, insert edge, and it's there. Then over here on the right, make sure it's exact, and click OK. Now I'm going to double click this, edit form, oops.
All right. This, rotate this, rotate this. Okay, we know these lines are becoming straight. And we want to keep these lines straight. And I'm going to add um, one more edge right here. Modify, insert edge. And make sure it's exact and OK. Double click this line. Bring this down. And click OK and see what we have so far. Turn the canvases off. All right. Got that nice shape now. But as you can see, this goes in right here a little, so we need to clean that up. So we just go back and edit here again. And edit form and straighten this line up. And you have to play with all these lines to get everything um, like you want them. This gives us that more shape like it should be. Yep. And bring this out a little, this line here. Click OK, finish form, see what we have so far, what it looks like. There. That looks better. Okay, that's just one way how to do that canopy also. You can do it this way or you can do it separate like um, we did over here. But um, depending on how you want it to look and your model, you'll decide which, um, which way you want to do that. Now let's take a look at something here. All right, that still looks good. You can see the canopy coming up here nicely. Excellent. All right, so now we continue modeling other parts of this. Now what I'm going to do is a wing. Turn the canvas is on. First of all, need to draw a line from about here to here. Let's see. So, go on to create sketch on this plane and use line. Looks to be about here. 
to here. And okay, take a look at this on the top. Let me turn these bodies off. I don't need them right now. And this looks good here where this is. And this needs to come, to come forward. Go ahead and finish sketch. Turn my sketches back on. Again, here um, I don't have an airfoil of this uh, ME262, so I'm just going to draw an arbitrary one. But if you do have an airfoil of it, you want to go ahead and insert it through a canvas, and you want to trace it on this line that. Um, I just through here, but for now I'm just going to do an, an um, arbitrary one. So to do that, come up here to create sketch. Bit point spline. Now, letter P for project, and I'm going to project this line here, and then click OK. Now we have a fully defined sketch here. And I'm going to do a fit point spline on the bottom. Okay, now this is fully defined as well. Go ahead and finish sketch. Now we want to do a plane at an angle. So we come up here to construction, click plane at an angle, click this line here, and look at the front view of this. Now this line plane here, we want to match the same angle as this wing is. Turn this. Five is too much, so it looks maybe a negative two. Change this to negative two. It's not enough, so let's go with three. Three looks about right. Maybe just a little too much, maybe 2.5. That looks better. Okay, we'll go with that 2.5 and click OK. Now what I want to do is draw on this plane here, so I click the plane, come up here to create sketch. Now, I want to project this line here, so letter P for project, click OK. And I want to draw a line from here to about right here. Click OK. Another line, L for line.
Same thing here. Click OK. Now the reason I didn't go all the way down is because this is an angle here. So I need to draw that as well. But let me try something else first. Um, Okay, go ahead and finish sketch. Come over here, we want to use a sweep. We want path plus guide rail and full extents. Now if this doesn't work, I'm going to go back and um, make this just two separate lines here. Okay, we may have a problem. Turn the bodies back on, and there we have it. And there we have one of the wings. Now this um, horizontal stat, I think is a little too far forward. So what I'm going to do here is move that back a little. So over here, change this name to horizontal stab. And I'm going to move this back now. I'm going to right click here and move copy. And click OK. Now it's better. And that's our ME262 so far. Turn the sketches off. Turn the lines off with Control 4. And it looks pretty good. Turn the canvases back on. And now what I'm going to draw is this engine to sell. In order to do that, now you don't need to do this, what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to insert a plane. You could just draw it on the um, plane over here, then move it back, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to just start it right here. So construct, come to construct, we want to use an offset plane. This is the plane we want offset and move this back and that looks about right. And click OK. Next, come up here to create form. I'm going to use a cylinder and I want to use this plane. And looks about right there. We're 
lines are off, so control six to turn those back on. All the way back here. Okay. And we want to have mirror here and width symmetry. And I want to add a few more height faces. Eight. And click OK. Now this nacelle is high, um, so what we do here is left click and hold down and drag over the whole thing here. Right click and we want to move. I'm going to move this down and click OK. And now I'll just shape this up. And look at this from the top. And now we need to move this whole thing too. So. Oops. Right. Click OK first. Finish form. here, move, and click OK. Now I still want to edit that, so now I'll come back down here, right click, edit, Save this. Edit it some more. This needs to come in. This as well. Bring this out some more. Now, if you're wondering why this keeps moving um, up and down, it's because I moved it down here in the timeline. And um, so when I go back in time to here, down here, it's always going to show it up here.
when I edit, if that makes sense to you. So when I click finish form here, the timeline's going to come back down to here and move this back down to here. So once again, when I come down here to edit, this engine itself was placed up here first. So when I come down to edit, it's always going to move it back here. And um, then once I go to finish form, then it goes down here and then it moves it back to where um, I moved it to. I hope that makes sense. But now we have this. Finish form. Okay, let's turn off the canvas just to see what we have. All right. So now, I want to edit this again. and bring this out this as well And turn the canvases off again. There. And that's much better looking. But this needs to come up more. So we'll do some more editing in on it. And see what we have now. Turn the canvases off. And this needs to go more. That's looking better. And the front still needs to come up more.
This time I'm going to move the whole um, cell up here. move this front of that up so it need to come down here There, now it's beginning to look better. And now what I can do... Move this up a little. Finish form, take a look. There. That's much better. Now to really begin to look like an ME-262. Now the back here need to make this round so we edit this again edit this in this down and I'm just making this oval you know a cylinder Take a look at the front. And we do the same thing at the front. Go ahead and finish form. And 
say this is what we have so far. Now this back here needs to come up too on this end in the cell. So we come down here to form, right click edit, left click this, control, here, here, edit form, and raise this up. Rotate it a little. All right, that's better, and it needs to go up a little more. Before I do that, I need to show you how to do this wing tip first. That's, um, this is pretty simple to finish that up, but no problem. But we'll go ahead and finish the wing tip. So what I'm going to do here, I want to sketch on this surface here. and letter P for project and I want to project this and click OK and I want to draw a line here and here and finish sketch turn my sketches back on And I want to do a plane at an angle. So construction, plane at an angle here. And look at the front again. And that was two and a half degrees, I think it was. Negative two and a half. Yes. And click OK. And we want to sketch on this plane here. Create sketch. And I want to project P for project. I want to project um, this line. Click OK. Come up here to Bit Point Spline. Make this better looking like that. And go ahead and finish sketch. Now come over here to create and we want to loft. And the other side over here. And click OK. And that's what we have. So let me turn the canvases off. OK. Now this is what we have. And we're just about done with this ME262. Only one more um, short video. And on the short video, 
I'm just going to show you how to straighten this engine um, up a little more and then we'll just go ahead and cut the um, canopy in here and that's going to do it for um, this ME262 and as these planes like this as I um, do more scale aircraft they're probably going to take a little longer to do but it's still not a problem as you can see um, this looks really good I, um, um, we continue to get through these like I said it's going to take a little longer to do but that's no problem and um, we'll just get them done but again thanks for watching this video and um, if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it and if you like my videos go ahead and hit that like button also if you can um, comment down in the comment section and um, ask questions or anything that you want to know or um, suggest you want me to model for you show you how to do and um, we'll go ahead and get it done so anyway we'll catch you in the next video subscribe for more